Hey, what's up? This is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. And who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to do a fight breakdown from Marlon Tapalas versus Naoa Inouye. Really quick, if you like the videos, please take the time, subscribe to the channel. You know a lot is going on in boxing, and I want to be the one to deliver the news to you. Um, also, hit that thumbs up button because it really does help and support this channel. Uh, so let's start this thing off. Marlon is a very daring fighter. Uh, he's the type of guy who will lead off a combination with an uppercut or, an uppercut or a shovel hook, a lead right hook, anything. It's like he's a very daring guy. I want to say also creative, but very daring to try those things, especially in the first round. Like that's how you're starting off the fight. That's the type of guy he is. Fearless. Um, he's a sharp puncher, very crisp. Um, he's not going to throw a lot of punches in a round, but if, you, if you're a sharp and crisp puncher, you don't necessarily need to throw a lot of punches in a round because... Um, they're quality punches. They hit the target, and there was enough impact with that punch. So it's a quality punch. But also, what it does is it reserves its energy throughout the fight. I mean, keep in mind, we got 12 rounds. Um, let's see. Um, very solid defense. And I think, quite frankly, he has very underrated defense, at least from the waist up. Um, very covered up defense. Um, there's no easy targets with, with Marlon. You, like, you got to work for it. You got to create something. Um, if you want to hit him, if you want to hit him cleanly, you have to create it because he's not going to give it to you. He's he's truly covered up and he has a low base, wide leg stance like you got to work for it. And he's really good at, at a, at a he's, he does a very nice shoulder roll. Um, again, he's a very underrated guy when it comes to his defense. A lot of guys are just like, oh, he's a rock and sock him. No, he's a thinking man. He's a thinking fighter. Um, Marlon is a great uppercut. So there's two of his punches that, that really set it off for me. It's his uppercut and his straight right to the body. Um, that thing is like a missile, okay? That thing is like a missile. And it's a power punch of his. Um, like I said, it's, uh, personally, I just feel like that uppercut is money. Because whenever he throws it, it's like he can't miss. He has a very compact uppercut. It's not wide. It's not out or anything like that. It's very short and compact. Um, and that could be a problem for anyway because anyway once anyway smells a little bit of blood, well he gets a whole lot closer. And you know that's the thing with power punchers. You know they know if I, if I touch him I can hurt him. Well you can do that, but just know some of the weapons that Marlon does possess. And that uppercut is a definitely a dangerous weapon that he possesses. And he can fire it off at any time. Like I said, he'll lead with it. Imagine what will happen if you close the distance and you feel like you have him hurt. He'll use it a lot more, and he's extremely accurate with it. Uh, let's see. I mentioned his solid defense, but I want to tell you something else about his defense. He has great defense backing up as well. Now, I've seen the shoulder roll. Uh, listen, we've all seen it. Between Floyd and his father, and we, we've all seen it. Adrian Broner, we've all seen it. Marlon's one of the few people that you'll see doing it who can do it while backing up consistently. When I talk about skill, the man has skill, and he needs to be appreciated for that. Uh, let's see. Martin's a very patient guy. He's not going to, like I said, he's not going to bombard you with punches or anything like that. He, prefer, he prefers quality over quantity. And, you know, I agree with that. Um, however, if you're fighting someone like Nail anyway, I've always said for someone like him, you need to keep him busy. You need to keep him guessing and thinking. And you need to keep him on the move. A guy like Neil Wayne anyway, cannot cannot be uh, planted. If he gets planted, that means he's comfortable. He's comfortable. He's going to launch him this way at you. Uh, so let's see. Also, I think uh, Marlon's very durable. He can take some shots. Yes, he's been knocked out. Okay, we yeah, it's true. Just because someone's been knocked out doesn't mean they can't take a punch. Anybody can be knocked out. I don't care who you are. Anybody can be knocked out, except for James Tony. But anybody can be knocked out, all right? Anybody can be knocked out. And he does have those on his record, yes, and we can't erase that. But that doesn't mean he's an easy knockout as well. Now, Naomi anyway does possess the power to do it. Naomi anyway possesses the speed to do it and the accuracy. But that doesn't mean he's an easy knockout. Um, so Marlon also has very selective punches. He's a guy who believes in game. <clears throat> sorry, he's a guy who believes in game plans, and he's very stern to stick with those game plans. And, you know, if you do your homework on any guy, you can see what he does well and what he doesn't do so well. And you can also see what punches are going to be effective, effective towards him and what ones are not going to be effective. And Marlon's that type of guy. He'll find the punches that are going to work against you, and he's going to use those the entirety of the fight. 
Now, am I saying he's great at adjusting? No, he's not really great at adjusting, but he can turn it up and he can fight if he has to. He can take it to an alley fight if he needs to, just to back you off of him, because he is a very gutsy guy. He's a very durable guy. I mean, all Filipinos, they're, they're, they're not weak. They, they can fight. If they can't do nothing else, they can fight. He's a tough guy, a very durable guy, very prideful guy, and you'll see it in the fight. Um, <clears throat> now, here's another segment that I say what worries me. What worries me about Marlon Tapalis taking on Neo anyway? Well, anyway, will exploit Marlon's patience as a fighter. Marlon is a patient guy. He he's, chooses his time and his place in the ring. Nothing wrong with that. However, you can't do that with anyway. He's already fast. He already hits hard. He already has a puncher's mentality, a tough, you know, power puncher's mentality. Well, all you got to do is go in there and touch him. He'll probably go away. That's his mentality. You can't just sit there with a guy like that. That's not going to work. Um, so they might want to change that. Also, Marlon doesn't use his legs enough. <clears throat> I didn't mention his, his defense. He's very slick up top, you know, and he keeps his hands high. Very slick up top, not knocking that. But he doesn't move his legs very much. Anyway, he's going to run circles around you. He has great footwork, and he's very explosive. He's very fast. Not just fast with his hands, but he's equally as fast with his feet. That's going to be a big problem right there. Uh, Marlon can be very stationary at times, and that can be a huge problem as well. And I'll tell you why. One, because anyway's the type of guy, listen, if I don't have to look for you, you're done. I'm already the puncher between the two of us. I'm already the faster guy between the two of us. I came up to be to fight you. I'm already the faster guy. I already have more weapons in my arsenal than you do. And you're not moving out of the way. You're just dead in the water at that point. Not a good thing. If I were, you know, in his camp, I would say, we got to work on your footwork. That, that, that's a huge factor in this fight. It really is. Um, and because of those things, collectively, anyway, can read him. He's not going to be a hard read for, for Nao anyway. Nao anyway is a very smart fighter. He's a very accomplished fighter. He's been in the ring. He knows what to do. He knows how to read and pick off an opponent. This is not his first rodeo. Um, now, another segment where Marlon Tapalis will find success in a fight against Nao anyway. Um, number one, like I said, he's very creative uh, with his fight style. He is not a textbook fighter. All right. Like I said, anybody who's going to lead with an uppercut is not a textbook fighter, all right? He's daring, that is daring, that's very ballsy. Because you are leading yourself wide open, so it's very ballsy. But, again, he has a tight defense upstairs. And I keep, I have to emphasize upstairs because he's not gonna move his legs, so he's a very tight defense. <clears throat> if he's gonna lead with things like that against a guy like Inouye, who is very springy, he's a very springy guy, he's gonna jump up, you know, he's going to spring off on you. Again, he's just as much a threat with his legs as he is with his hands. Um, durable, Marlon has the heart of a champion. You see, it's one thing if you fight a guy who's skilled. It's one thing if you fight a guy who has power. So it's another thing if you fight a guy who has both. But it's something on a whole new level. When you fight a guy who believes he's the champ, who, who feels like he's a champion, who acts like a champion, who walks in the ring like a champion, that's a hard customer to fight. I don't care what you say. Those are the worst guys. The guys who didn't get the memo, who, who, who actually believe in themselves. That's a hard guy to beat. He's already been down a rabbit hole. He's been knocked out twice. He knows what the dumps and the, and the lows and the boxing ring feels like. He wants the highs. He also knows what they feel like, and he wants that. All right? So that's a guy that you don't, you know, you, you also, you always want to be mindful of, and you always want to be cautious around. Um, here's the thing about anyway. He likes to lunge a lot. He he loves to lunge. <laughs> like anyway, will lunge in. Well, again, Marlon is probably not the guy to be lunging with. One because he's not the hardest puncher in the world, but he's not a pillow puncher at all. He's a very stiff puncher. And like I said, is he the fastest guy in the world? No, but he has great timing. And his go-to is that uppercut. If Anyway, lunges in, especially when Anyway sees or smells blood, and he lunges in, Marlon's, Marlon has a great uppercut. Marlon has a great shovel hook. Marlon has a great two. Those are all things that can easily stop a lunging type fighter, a Manny Pacquiao type of lunger like uh, Nao Anyway. 
Those are all three punches that, that could easily dispel and, and put that on hold, okay? So, yeah, you need to be mindful of that. Um, overall, I think this could be a really great fight. Um, Marlon does possess a lot of the gifts, uh, attributes, and abilities to beat Naomi anyway. Yes, Naomi anyway is riding high off of his success off of Stephen Fulton, as he should. But we can't overlook the other guy who has belts. He has belts for a reason. He's a champion physically, but he is also a champion right here and right here. The same way as, as Naomi anyway. So I think this is going to be a great fight. And like I said, I think Marlon Tapalas has all the attributes that he needs to be more than competitive for Naomi anyway. And really quick, be on the lookout for the Naomi anyway breakdown versus Marlon Tapalas. I made one for anyway, now I got to make one, make one for Marlon. And then soon there will be a, um, a prediction video. So just be on the lookout for that. And as always, please like, please share, please subscribe to the channel.